Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper. In corner, we got DeWalt starting as the white Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we got Bonneth starting as the green Protoss. This is Fighting Spirit Mania. The two of seven in the upper bracket final. DeWalt currently leads 1 0. And I, I don't know if it's. I actually was thinking about just pausing after uh, I've been commentating these at night and uh, oftentimes on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, as I've been going. And I'm really enjoying this. I don't know if it's just. By commentating a whole bunch of PvP, I'm just starting to see more things and understand the matchup a little bit better. Um, or if it's just... I feel like what's happened, though, is DeWalt somewhere in the space of this last... Uh, I, I noticed a no uh, an improvement, a serious improvement, where there's just a lot of sharpness and a lot of... It just feels very thought out from every position in the last, I don't know, six games or so. There was just it, all of a sudden a spike where it feels like, uh, and we'll see if there's a shift again with Bonneth, and part of it might just be build order. But DeWalt has really, uh, he's gotten the advantages, and then he's hammered home those advantages very convincingly. And he's he's looking very, very sharp in the space of this matchup. Right now, I kind of favor him to win it overall, because holy cow, he's looked strong in this last series of matches. Bonneth, let's see, part of it is, is ba Bonneth has also been denied information. There have been earlier scouts from DeWalt, so we might see the reverse scenario if Bonneth is able to get the first scout. It looks like he went for a scout after Gateway. DeWalt is actually holding back until after he's procured his gas. Maybe going to wait until... Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and... about to say he's going to wait until the Gateway finishes, but he's going to go ahead and make his way out now. Trying to block... Actually, with the timing, doing a little bit of block, able to get a little bit of damage. That's going to delay his scout as well, keep in mind. But making his way in... Same build opposite side, uh, robotics facility already planted. Actually, sorry. What's going on here with the vault? Uh, or sorry, with Bonnet. So Bonnet going, he's going, uh, 7x core before second pylon. We have a second pylon down from DeWalt before, uh, cybernetic score to maybe sneak out a, a few additional workers and going zealot for Do we have a zealot skip? No, zealot still being produced in space of this. So DeWalt trying to play it a little bit more economic and DeWalt trying to push tech a little bit. It looks like first scout there for DeWalt as well. So able to get interior to the base. Zealot now running. Do we have a second Zealot? I, look, I think we might have had a preventative second Zealot queued up. The first Zealot actually making a dash outside of the base. 700 score now warping. And a manor pylon as well from DeWalt. So DeWalt seeing... Seeing the, the pylon, the tech, the cybernetic score like this. Dropping a second manor pylon. And that's going to buy certainly some time for this zealot to make his way in. So Dwalt playing this very, very aggressive. Is that probe still like the probe still behind mineral lines, by the way? And this zealot before the dragoon has spawned is now in the midst of the probe lines. And several of these probes are stuck. And this isn't a lot of maneuvering. It looks like that probe was able to get, I think that probe is still alive. It's hard to tell in the midst of this. No, never mind. It looks like uh, the probe was in fact killed, but a lot of mining delay there for Bonneth. Working on that pylon as well. This was a loss of 66 resources for DeWalt. And he sacrificed that zealot, but he's up a worker. One gate robo, by the way. An additional pylon now down for Bonneth. Two gate as well. This probe has been interior to the base this entire time as well. So going to see the the full next tech complement. And doing a great job of using this get <laughs> the layout where the Dragoon is might have to wait for a companion before he's going to be uh, assailable. Finally, a blockade. This probe is still in the space at four minute mark, which is not surprising, actually, considering everything that's happened. But the information advantage now is certainly going to be in Bonnet's favor. We'll see if he can turn it around, but... Yeah, DeWalt just uh, doing a lot of things like this where he's just getting more aggressive and and making it happen. That Zealot, by the way, with a very proud two kills. Rare for a Zealot to have at the 4-minute 30-second mark. Shuttle first. Do we, we don't even have a uh, Robo down, though, yet. So this, I think, is going to be Zealot drops. Um, So, or I should say, we don't have a support bay. Unless I'm missing it somewhere in the map. Okay, there's a support bay in the space of this. This feels like an early shuttle. Um, for Bonneth. A very early shuttle, considering the support bay timing. So I'm wondering if he's just a little bit off his build order. 
with everything that's happened. Two gate, Robo, same thing on the opposite side from DeWalt. Now it's a little bit different though. DeWalt is actually up for workers. Bonneth, I think is pausing pro production. Yeah, he's pausing pro production. And going, it looks like three gate uh, Reaver as far as uh, a turnaround. He's just going to try to punch this natural expansion, try to end the game that way. Um, which will be interesting against, uh, I think he was hoping for two gate Robo into expand or two gate expand. Observatory is planting here for DeWalt. DeWalt, uh, the high ground won't be as much in his, of an advantage as it might be otherwise, because with the three gate and Reaver alongside, there's a lot of opportunity to scoot up and divide forces effectively between the natural expansion and the main. But with the observer out potentially for DeWalt, um, which let's see if he goes observer. Yeah, he's going to go shuttle observer in the space of this. Keep in mind, the shuttle cuts into a little bit of um, production as well. So where DeWalt supply looks a little bit larger than it is, it's not quite probe finding no natural expansion. So I think that is going to delay DeWalt's natural expansion in the space of this because he could be very concerned about a three gate play here. But this is this is going to be a full on attack, full on assault here from Bonneth. So three gate, the Dragoon's producing, uh, Reaver right there. I thought it was 24 probes you can do it with, but I trust him. So I'm guessing 21 is the number to get the continuous Dragoon production. I think he's just going to stick though to the two Reavers in the space of this. It's just have the two Reavers and then rally the, the rest of the Dragoons is I think the trick. And I think at 24 with the three additional workers, you might be able to get some additional stuff out of the robotics. Don't quote me on any of that, by the way. Uh, nine worker lead though for DeWalt. Speed being upgraded, mm. speed being upgraded, and that's gonna delay. Uh, we're gonna lose. We're gonna drop some dragoons for that shuttle speed upgrade for Dewalt. So this might work out for Bonneth. Starting to charge forward. Probe checking kind of the exterior corner. The observer not quite nice dodge there by Bonneth across the edge of that, completely dodging that observer. Shuttle and Reaver on the low ground. Dewalt still expecting an, uh, an attack because he didn't see that natural expansion. As DeWalt walks into that natural expansion, his attention potentially divided, gets a big first shot with that Reaver, but having to back up otherwise. And now the fight begins. Two Reavers completely melting that right side of Dragoons, and DeWalt did not have an opportunity to sneak back. So DeWalt has a large army now remaining, although lost both Reavers in the space of this. But keep in mind, yeah, DeWalt pulling the, pro pulling the boys because he knows he needs it to hold the ramp, but also to potentially defend this outright. Second Reaver coming out. And it's going to be a minute before that Scarab queues up. A few workers have died in the space of this. Zealot's still holding the ramp, but now it's the Dragoon, the rest of the Dragoons trying to pile it up. DeWalt allowing those Dragoons forward so he can get the Reaver shots, though. Unfortunately, good spread, so he's going to lose that Reaver. Some additional Dragoons dying in the midst of this, and four Dragoons still trying to pile, away, pile their way forward, but the Probe's doing a great job blockading. You can see just three Dragoons are going to be rallying up to this stage from here on out. The worker count just about even. Worker count now even and in Bonna's favor, and he's just queued up making workers again. So the Gambit, regardless of anything else, is paid off, and it might turn into a full game win right here. Four Dragoons trying to make their way up, and the Misfire working into Walt's favor slightly. These two Dragoons up, and we're going to have some friends in just a second, but we got another Reaver out. That Scarab timing is going to be huge, and whether it hits the spread of these three Dragoons, it attacked the top Dragoon. If it had gone for the spread, there might have been a better shot, but that's going to be GG instead. And Bonneth able to procure a win off oof, a full-on assault there. Good, good play. Series up now. Getting closer to tied up. 3-2. to two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.